This is Marco with our washers at washmart.com, your Houston pressure washer store. We made a video yesterday live on Facebook, which I'm going to try to get the link on here to people to be able to see. But to make it simple, this is going to be our first 3,000 at 10 gallon per minute power washer. It actually can get a little bit more than 3,000 PSI, like 3,100 before the engine starts idling down. Uh, and then with the 11 orifice tip, we thought we were only getting 9, but when we did a bucket test, we're getting about 10.5 gallons per minute with this Honda IGX 800 and this new AR pump that doesn't have a part number yet because this is a prototype made by AR for us. That's going to be the part number right there, the XWLA10G30, N is a Nancy, B is a boy. So this is going to be our first 3,000 at 10 gallon a minute. It's been tested. We've actually done a couple of different builds, and we were not able to get these results until we got this combination put together. This, was, this pump was the key to it. The engine has been able to do it the entire time. One of the things with gear drives, unlike belt drives, you can change the pulley size to get the specs that you want. With gear drives, you're stuck with the gallons per minute, and then you just get the maximum PSI that it allows. That is one of the advantages of a belt drive. Uh, aside from that, I like gear drives more, but it with belt drives, you can change the pulley ratios, and you can make different specs. For instance, if you wanted to do 2,000 PSI and closer to 12 or 13 gallons a minute, it's completely doable with a belt drive. With a gear drive, with this combination, it's never happening. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching the video. This is Marco with our washers at washmart.com, your Houston pressure washer store. Thank you for watching the video.